All right, so for this question, uh, this is a half-life question, uh, similar to other, ones, uh, other videos for this as well. So if they don't give you the rate um, of decay, you do have to go find that rate of decay. So find K in the formula, uh, A equals A0 to the KT. That's, that's the main thing we have to have first uh, before we can solve. So um, the first sentence here gives us the information that we need to find that. So the half-life, meaning that when half the original amount is there, the time will be 700 years. So in our um, original formula here, we're saying when t is 710, the new amount will be half the original amount. That's the definition of half-life. So we say 1 half a0 equals a0 e to the k times 710. You're dividing both sides by a0 here. That all cancels, so we have one half equals e to the 710 k, and we take the natural log of both sides, and that lets us bring the 710 k down to the front, which is what we want. So natural log of 0 0.5 is 710 k natural log of e, and so the natural log of e is one, so that disappears, and so we divide both sides here by 710. and therefore we get K. And K is a number in scientific notation here, so just to keep in mind again, negative 7.7, times 10 to the negative fourth is what that represents. So we move our decimal one, two, three, four places to the left, and we fill in the spaces with zero. So therefore K is negative 0.00097 six three all right so now we can go over here and write a equals a zero e to the negative zero point zero 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 nine seven six three t and from there we can solve and so now uh, the next part of the question says if there are 50 grams present now how much will be present in 300 years so when when t is uh, 300 uh, and there's 50 grams present now that means there's 50 here, we can go find how much will be present at that time in the future. So in this case, we just do 50 e to the negative 0 0.0009763 times 30. Now we've got to be a little bit careful about how we enter that in the calculator. So let me get the calculator up. And so there's the answer. I made a mistake here. There should have been another 0 here. 300 years was the number. And so I corrected here as I put it in. So make sure you put in 50E and you get your carrot symbol. And, and in parentheses, we're going to use, uh, put the 0009763 and the 300. So when we do that, we get 37.305. All right. And so at this point, you want to pick the answer that's closest. And so that is B, uh, 37.306. And again, it's probably due to rounding error, either Either we didn't round well enough, or maybe the uh, solution uh, algorithm for this homework set did not round as much as we did. That's, so that's why we get a little bit of discrepancy between our answers. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, so anyway, just be careful of that. As you find an answer and you're not exactly on the right answer, know that you probably have the right answer. And also, don't ever worry that I'll put two answer choices. 37.306 or 37.305. I won't ever put two answer choices so close together. So always just pick the number that's closest.